Hi everyone. Today we're going to do the fruit bowl and I outlined mine in silver Sharpie. Yours will be in pencil. Um, I do mine in Sharpie because pencil doesn't show up on, on video. So we're going to paint, um, the last thing we're going to do is the bowl. And, um, the first thing we're going to do is our bananas and our lemon because they're in yellow and any color inside your paintbrush, because we're not going to use water and wash out our paintbrush because that'll make a runny paint. Um, we want to make sure we do the yellow ones first so our paintbrush is nice and clean. And then, and then we'll do the other three and then the bowl. And if you look at your colors, oh my God, you got red, pink, orange, and then orange. I'll show you these. Orange. Then uh, this one's called chrome orange. Then yellow. Then neon yellow. What? I know. Because how many colors do you need for 3D? Dark, medium, light. And then where they touch, you never just let them just sit there. I mean, you could. That's a style. But we're going to try to like where they touch, we kind of let them overlap a little bit and make a new color where they touch. And I like to use a dry paintbrush, which means I just squeeze the paint out with a paper towel. Or I use my finger. Whoop, whoop. And I just smear where the two colors touch. And my dry finger will just go blit, blit, and just make those two colors blit, like that. Okay, and nothing I say will make sense <laughs> until you do it yourself. So you should be going, what is she talking about? And then you do it yourself. And then, oh, that makes sense. Okay, and we have three paintbrushes. We have big, this is number six, and then medium. Oops, I'm going to do it on the top of the black. So it's a... Uh, uh, a number six, we'll call her big, and then a number four, we'll call her medium, and then itty bitty, she's a two, right? And these are called rounds because they're the same shape, and when you smash them, they just make a, ra a round shape, okay? So when we go, Bleh, it goes, oh, it is round. It's not a straight and flat, okay? So um, we're going to use this paintbrush mostly to put the white on. We have to, because we have a nice black background, so we don't have to paint our background because that adds like another 40 minutes, you know, uh, nah. Um, we could do that another time. But we're gonna paint our um, uh, bananas first and we want dark, medium, light. So at the top, like a whole finger big will be the brightest and the lower half will be darker. And if we use um, this a yellow color mixed with white, that'll be pretty. And then we can use a little neon yellow and some white to make it shiny. But what if we wanted to make it darker? A little bit of brown? What if brown becomes our shadow color? Well, and then gray is also our shadow color. And gray, she's aggressive and dark like black so you just kind of make like if we put it on orange it becomes like a dirty orange it's not really shadowy but the brown dries really dark brown You're like, <gasps> God, right not this color she dries almost a dark brown color you're seeing the white gel she's floating in and the powder when she dries she'll turn clear like elmer's glue and just leave the dark brown powder behind Right? So, and you don't have to know that. I don't know. Oops, knocking stuff over. Okay, so we're gonna paint our um, banana first. Let's do these, this little weird shape, and then behind the orange right there, and like a dirty yellow. But we have to paint it white first to get rid of the blick. Okay, so we need to open our white, and when you open it, just know the lids are always bleh, and then get on everything. So just push them out of your way a tiny bit. And we just need a tiny, big paintbrush, number, number six. And we don't need very much, just a little bit on the end. So I just get some, oh, just a little, I could get some more, right? But right now I just not this much. And I'm gonna do this uh, weird shape right here. But the way you outline with paint is you just smash it, you just land in the middle of the shape you're trying to do and your paintbrush will open, right? Cause you're pushing on it, but you only stare at that top hair 
or that bottom hair and you sneak it up 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 till you're touching the the line and then you push and it makes a smooth line the middle you could scribble but never the lines that you're trying to make it's always smooth and if you need more paint you just get a little bit more okay so i'll do it and i'll do it close so you can see so i'm gonna i'm gonna land right in the middle because remember those are my words confusing but watch when i do it okay so now i'm gonna land smash i'm in the middle now i sneak up oh now the paint is touching the line now i can push Ooh, it's making a big line but i'm only staring at that one hair and then oh now i can there's still a goober in the middle i'm gonna push it over there and i'm just using one hair of my paintbrush there now blip, 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 blip. now you do it and remember i always go too fast when you watch my videos because i'm used to doing it in a classroom and i watch everybody I don't do the next step till at least more than half are finished. Um, when I'm by myself in my studio, I go too fast. So you push pause whenever you need to. And then I have this pound of Bebe square down there. It's between lemon and pear. And how much white do you think that will need? It's all, my paint's all gone on my paintbrush, right? So maybe a microscopic tiny speck. I know, I just want to block out the black, but I just land in the tiny little square. Boop, push it up in the corner, corner. But okay, there, oh, I went over the lines a little bit. Oh, no, that's okay. It'll be fine. Because the lemon will go on top of that background shape. Okay, now i got to clean the white out because if there's still some white on my paintbrush and I go get some, um, some of the darker yellow, if I go get that, I'll be like, oh, it's dirty. So I'm going to clean my paintbrush and just pitch. Got some paint. Now I'm going to get this yellow. And I'm going to open it. And how much paint do you think to paint over that little spot? I know. It's a bit. Okay. Oh, I got a little bit more. So we're covering up the white now. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I land in the middle. Scooch up. Oh, Smear, smear, smear. There. What if I have a blob in a spot? Look at my blob. I could leave that thick blob right there. Why? Because they'll just dry darker. And I have a little bit left in my paintbrush. And I'll just do this little corner, corner, corner. Well, that's not very shadowy. It looks a little bright. So how can I darken it? I can use gray or brown. And brown will be darker. So let's use brown. Pop. And how much? Microscopic amount, which means I'm probably just going to touch the side. Pokey, get a little bit. I'm just going to mush it in. And I'm going to start at the bottom. And it's mushed in. And then, oh, that's, that's, I wish I would. No, that's good. Tiny speck more, right? I, and then a little bit of brown over here. I should have put more. Let me try again. Speck. Very brown. And then, oh, I ran out. This looks like stripes. I don't know. I'm going to leave it. It's a little dirt, dirty amount. Nah, nah, there. And that will dry darker. I promise. Dry is kind of dark. But I don't want this brown on there no more. Squeeze. Push pause. Now I could do this shadow part. It's done. Now I could do... Um, oh, and I could do this part too. So I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Poke my white. <sighs> And I painted it white. Now I can get my yellow. <gasps> I got a lot. I don't care. Just get a mix. Let's see that with that one. And that won't need any. Um, and it's okay to have weird stripe marks. You don't have to keep fixing it. This is gonna have the texture of painting. So your brush strokes actually adds to it. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this back banana. Cause there's yellow when I paint red. Well, just squeeze it out. <laughs> oh, you just get a paper towel and it say it. Sorry. And you put your paintbrush in it, fold it over, squeeze it. Oh! And it's all pointy. My paintbrush is smooth and most of the paint's out. Now I can do this piece. And I'm not going to do the tippy tip up here. I'm going to leave that. The little square part right there. I'll just go underneath it. How many times am I have to stop and get paint? A lot. It runs out in like two seconds. 
I'm just gonna ride the roller coaster. Oh, I touched the yellow and picked up some yellow. So, we, oh, it got dry. Look at it. It's all dry up there. And see through more paint. Okay. I'm not, how come I can't go scribbly scribbly? I can only drive my paintbrush forward and not pick up my paintbrush because I want a smooth line and the paint just squishes out the top. And then my little lamp. More paint. Little, 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 little. How come I don't care about this white? I just care about the edges. I'm just blocking up the lick. Okay, now I can get a whole bunch of yellow. And it's this guy. Let's go, stop! I got a lot. Because <laughs> I was going to drive my car across the top. And I don't have to touch the top anymore because I already painted it yellow. Oh, I ran out of yellow. Look it. It's more yellow at the top. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I get to use bright yellow again. So now I get neon yellow. How much should I get? Oh, I was going to put a swipey. I was going to put swipes. Swipe. And then swipe. Oh, I put some swipes. Swipe. Well, that's got white, medium yellow, and then yellow. I wish it had like a more, I don't know, um, softer color. Gray. Gray will help me do that. But when I go get gray, how much gray? The tiniest speck ever. So I'm going to barely touch the edge. I just want to make a dirty um, yellow. And it's still wet, right? Because we just did it. And it's only one finger big, close to the bottom of the banana. And I just, first you just drop off the gray. You can't put it on the top. Too bright. So I'm gonna put it, just drop it off along the bottom. <gasps> Jump over the orange. Woo, there. So I just dropped it off. And I'm not gonna let it get higher than that. It's fine, like that. Now I'm just gonna mush it in, smash it with a clean paintbrush, mush, mush. Smush, smush. There. Perfect. Now I'm going to, now I get my, let's find our itty bitty just born paintbrush. And we're going to put a little stripe of white. Just run it across the top of your gray stripe. Wee. Wee. Oops. Wee. Oops. It ran out. More white. Tiny paintbrush. Wee. Give it permission to be a little bit string. A little string of white. Now let's do the same thing for the back one. So I get white. I just trace it. Who knows how much paint to get now? I don't know. A little bit. And then how many colors do we need? So let's get regular yellow. Just like an orangey yellow. And put my stripes. Two stripes. Should I go back and touch it? No. I let it have thick, thick dark parts. Then we get neon yellow, poke, and drop it off, swipe. I just dropped it off like a worm. Ding! Like that. And then I need a microscopic amount of gray for my shadow. Banana. And where does it go? Along the very bottom. There. In the bottom. Let's just mush it in a little. Mush? No. Mush? There. A little stripe there. But on the top of the gray is a little string of white. So I find itty bitty paintbrush again and put a stripe of white right along the gray. Whoop. Nice. Dark, medium, light. Okay, now I have to get the, there's gray in my paintbrush. Remember, pause. Pause the video constantly. Rewind, pause. I oh, know. I'm so annoying because I'm not there with you and I can't be a regular teacher assist when you get stuck and stuff like that. So clean our paintbrush pitch. Now I'm going to do the lemon. But oh, look at this little brown part got on top of my lemon. That's okay. I'm going to trace her on top now. Put our white. Stab. White. So I land inside. Smash. Sneak up. Round. And then a little bump on that lemon. There. And then this is just like an L or a 7. 
but this won't have any of this yellow in it. No, let's use, because she's a lemon, the super bright yellow. So we're gonna stab the bright yellow and get a lot and then just trace it right on top of the white. Oh, wow, and then I just push it down. What? Okay. Should I keep rubbing it in? No, I like the pink brush strokes. It's a pining, but it's supposed to be gray in the shadow part and the bottom would be shadowy. So I'm gonna get a tiny speck of gray and drop it off on the bottom, like a little smear. Oh, look like a little L. But then just smush it back and forth. Oh, there, she's a little bit gray. They're done. Okay, don't do any more. That's up. Ah. Every time I touch it, I add more gray. Oh, I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Let's get out of here, gray. You're too dark. Now with a clean paintbrush, I'm going to touch the top of the gray. Look at it. Maybe it's like a stripe. I'm going to touch it with no paint my paintbrush. Oh, I wiped away the top of the gray. Now I just need some white. Poke the white. And there's a little shiny part. Shine, shine. Oh, shine. Shine, shine. Maybe even some more neon yellow. Shine, shine, shine. Oh, that's pretty. Good job. Now we're gonna clean our paintbrush. Now we can do our orange. No, let's do our um, let's do our uh, pear. And we'll, our pear will be a um, little bit of green, a little bit of neon yellow, and gray. But first, we have to get rid of the black. Stab. I got a lot of white, so I can out. Uh oh, look at that corner thing. I have to go on. I'm probably gonna go on top there. And I'm only staring at one hair. There. And once I outline it, now I can just fill it in. Okay, now I can put some green. Oh, but how much bright green do I put? Speck, because it's gonna mix with my, oh, a little bit. I'm gonna drop it off right across the top. I just wipe off the green. Now I can sneak it up closer to the top. Oh, that wasn't enough green. One more time. Put, okay, there, there. And then as I go down, down, I'm running out of green on purpose. There. Well, that's got to have a little shadow on the bottom. What's my shadow color? Gray. So how much gray? Do you see how aggressive gray is? Get a speck. Only a tiny speck. And put it along the bottom, along the bowl. Smoosh. And then smash, smash, smash. Uh-oh, I made a stripe. The only way to fix it is to clean the gray out of my paintbrush real fast. Squeeze. And with no paint on my paintbrush or with my finger, I can just tell the gray to disappear, the top of the gray. Blur. Gone, 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 gone. But now we can use neon yellow. Stab. I may click a little, um... Comma, 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 comma. Oh, schmear, schmear. Oh, nice, nice. Put more green. Oh, there. It was a little perfect. There. Now I have green and yellow. I just need a shine of white. Poke a little bit of white across the top, maybe right here. Tink, then tink, tink, tink. Schmear, smile, smile, smile. Pew. Okay, there. All these little bits of white at the end. Now I get to do the orange so I can clean the green out. I need a clean spot in this. Ew, this napkin is too gross. Put over here. New napkin. Look at this, please. Squeeze. Now I need to get rid of the orange. And she's going to be on top of the banana. So I land on the inside. Smash. The black's still showing one more time. It's harder to scooch down, I think. Scooch down. 
Yeah. Oh, that looks like a V. Uh oh, I have to go over this little book. It was just a little letter, a lowercase n, lowercase n. Scribble it. I don't have to add more white. It could be a little bit see-through. Now I'm going to get orange. We haven't opened orange before. Orange. Poke. Orange. And then I'm just going to outline it right here and mix it in. Oh, I ran out too soon. Can I get another poke? Just a tiny poke. Okay, there. Try it again. Cross the top. Rainbow. And smush it down. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm ruining my, 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 my lemon. Just with the little tiny bit that's left on my paintbrush. Let me scooch down closer. <gasps> closer. Oh, I have to go super slow. That's scary. There. It's okay that it's a little bit lighter at the bottom. Because we're going to use gray. Remember that? So it's just sitting there. I know it's my rainbow. But can we get a tiny bit of gray with a dirty paintbrush? Microscopic. Getting a tiny bit is hard because my hand wants to go real hard. But I'm going to, I need to put it in this little V right here. Just drop it off. And we're going to just be, be, not that little square, right? Let it climb out. And then climb. Oh, oh, careful, my. And I'm running out of paint. Oh, 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 and then I ran out. So it's more gray here on the bottom. Oops, I touched my lemon. Eh. I remember brush strokes are fine. Let's get a tiny bit of brown. Microscopic. I want it darker. Eh. There. Scribble it on the bottom. Okay, now we can clean our paintbrush. And it's used neon yellow. Stab! Real hard neon yellow. And just go, not at the tippy top, just in the middle part. Rainbow, 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 dash, dash. Oh! Nice. Maybe even more orange. But maybe some of that uh, regular yellow, too. Regular yellow. And across. Pat, 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 pat. Scratch, 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 scratch. And then what's the texture? It's white, so instead of doing those little white dashes, let's use little tiny pokes for the orange. And I'm going to not use my paintbrush, my tiniest paintbrush number two. I'm going to use the stick, get a poke of white, and just in a little, just in about two fingers big, close to the top, I'm going to make, oh, like that, polka dots. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get um, orange, poke dark orange, it doesn't matter if there's white on there, and maybe the rest of it with like a few pokes of dark orange. I just need a couple. Polka dots. Hmm. So that texture is kind of funky. I'm gonna touch it with my finger. Just a little bit. I don't like the dots. I just want to flatten them a little and only touch them one time with the flat part of my hand. <gasps> I'm kind of ruining it. Ugh, ugh, sticky, 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 sticky. There. That's a better texture. There. I just wanted to ruin it a little bit. It looks a little polka dotty. If I touch it one time, there. I make little imprints. Let me clean my finger. Now I could do the apple. So now I'm gonna um, with my with my dirty paintbrush get some white poke and rainbow. But it's got yellow in it. We're making an apple. So whatever. I re remember how, right? If you outline it, then fill it in. Now we get to paint it for red. So open your red. And we'll just stab our red and outline it. Wow. Blah, 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 blah. But red is such a dark color. I want to add something prettier to that. So I'm going to squeeze the red out and I'll get regular yellow. Stab. 
and we'll just put like smiles like no frown 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 oh i just made orange oh that's all right little stripes and then we'll clean our paintbrush pinch and what's the shadow color a little bit of gray put it along the bottom Whoop. and then i clean all the gray out and then smash it oh and then go higher 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 Oh, I erased my red. I better try again. <laughs> Too much gray. Stab my red. Uh, try again. Very red. Okay, there. But instead of being a yellow, how about if I use neon yellow? Squeeze the red out. And then neon yellow does not like to be touched. So we'll just drop her off like pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Oh, every time I touch it, she disappears. She doesn't like it. And then for the shiny part, clean your paintbrush, get a poke of white. Pew, pew, pew. Nice. And then she has a, a tiny, get to find a tiny, tiny paintbrush. And she has a little dent. So I clean, make sure it's a clean little tiny paintbrush and one little poke of brown. And it's just a miniature smile. A little smile. Right, that's where the stem goes. Oh, and now that there's brown on my paintbrush, remember the little square on the banana? Let's paint that square. Scratch, scratch, scratch. But that looks boring. So get a poke of yellow and put a few stripes of yellow on it. Job. Now I get to make our bowl. So back to giant paintbrush. And we'll just get paint in the whole bowl blue. But she can't stay just blue. She'll dry really dark. So we have to outline her first step. Smoosh. Oh, I cut off the top bottoms of all the fruits. Yeah. And then across the bottom, stop, get more paint. Only lasts like about three fingers big. And just push your paintbrush. Push. And then instead of up and down, you can only go side to side like this. Get a big scoop of blue and push and pull and push and pull. Oh, more paint. You have to stop a lot and get a lot of paint. And then push and pull and push and pull and push and pull. Smash, smash, smash. And it's okay to have brush strokes. Now we're gonna um, get some gray and poke your gray and then drop it across the bottom. Smash, 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 smash. Whoop, whoop. And then we can get some brown and touch the very bottom, bottom. Blip, blip, blip. Dirty brown. And then we can get some white. Poke and put it across the top. Smoosh. Ooh, smoosh. I'll go lower, 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 lower. Good job. And it's okay to have brush strokes, right? How come? Because it's a pioneer. Okay, now just a tiny bit of shadow. Clean our paintbrush, squeeze. Now stab your brown. We're just gonna let it have a little brown table. And we just make a little stripe of brown across the bottom. Remember, we'll stay this brown. Smash, 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 smash. More brown. Smash, 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 smash. It's just you give it permission to be dry. Like that. Good job. And it's going to look totally different when it's dry. Okay. Good job, everybody.